This video is brought to you by Zarkin Productions, an umbrella group composed of over 10 YouTube shows, an archive of over 4,000 videos covering a wide variety of topics, and businesses both inside and outside of Second Life. Please go to zarkin.com for a complete listing of media links, follow us on Facebook and Twitter for our activity feed, subscribe to us on YouTube for future updates and please support us on Patreon. Thank you for your time, and may I present another, Zarakan production. Hey everyone, and welcome to Joystick Jerk. I'm going to be playing Fort Meow. Let's see if we can turn the music down to... Okay, maybe a little bit more. Okay, that's good. Alright, Fjort Meow. Fjort. Um, I've actually played Fort Meow for the first time uh, when I found it. In <laughs> damn it, uh, when I found it in the archives of uh, Ludum Dare. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Ludum Dare is a uh, contest website where people compete uh, to make the best game in a shorter time, in a very short time frame. Uh, usually they're like 24 hour, 48 hours, 72 hours, something like that. Uh, but there's a lot of really, really, really talented people uh, making games for the Ludum Dare contest. Now, um, one of the games I obviously found... Uh, I, I don't know why this is still so loud. Shit. There. Um, one of the games that was created that uh, was this uh, short physics puzzle game called For Fort Meow. And it has a lot of really cute kitties, and you build a fort so they can't, like, interrupt you reading stuff. And I loved it, and apparently a lot of you loved it too, uh, because uh, it, it got into my top ten. So, whenever a video gets into my top ten, I notice. Um, so, hey! Uh, now they have a full version of the game out. Let's give it a go. Dropped off in haste by her mother, Nia stared up at the gigantic house looming in front of her. She usually spent her vacations here with her grandparents. She peered into the darkness it was kind of strange that the front door was already open and there didn't seem to be anyone home. Her mother had told her not to expect Grandad to be around. He was due to go into hospital for surgery the day before she arrived. Perhaps that was why no one was around. Two flights of stairs later, Nia had arrived at the final steps up to the attic. During her holidays, she liked to spend most of her time exploring here. She found some solitude in the attic and enjoyed spending her time rummaging around in the mountains of family relics. She found something new on every visit. This time, however, something caught her eye almost immediately. It had her grandfather's name scribbled on the front cover. If there ever was a contest for finding the most interesting item in the attic, she'd just won. And so she sat down and began to read. <laughs> Giddy! Oh, 
shit. Fort plan. Left click and drag objects to build your fort. Use the mouse wheel or the up and down keys to rotate a held object. Uh, right click to return a currently held object. So, left click and drag objects to build your fort. Okay, seems simple enough. I can see some more cats getting ready to pounce. Meow. Build a fort. Uh, okay, do I have... Okay. From what I remember, there's a time resource. And that's what's up there. So I have a time resource of 7D. Yeah, time cost. Uh, 10 hit points 2. Time cost 20 hit points 2. Time cost 5 hit points 1. What's a fort without a flag? A good base foundation to any fort. Very comfortable and stylish. Sort of looks like a comfortable wall. Mattress. And then there's stuff. And more stuff. And oh, there's two kitties. There's two kitties on both sides. So I'm gonna derp and derp. Spend this much time building your fort. Huzzah. Okay, so... We ha we can spend... Oh, this is a pillow. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Kitties! Duh! Oh, you get more? Oh. Okay, so it's cumulative. Alright. New chapter. New, new. Uh, University of New Langdon. Spray 147, Professor Ronald Birch Faculty. Uh, service Award 25. Back in my heyday, I worked as a scientist at the University of New Langdon. We ran a busy laboratory in the basement of one of the old boarding house buildings on the campus, but we, I mean myself and my good friend Tom Wren. I first met Tom when I started working as a junior scientist at the university. He and I eventually convinced the director to let us run our own operation. Some say it wasn't the best decision the director made, but we only had a few minor incidents, mostly involving fire. A fair amount of our work involved the dissection and study of animals. My official field of research was based on kinesiology. That didn't stop us, however, from using the lab for some off-the-record experiments. University of New Lincoln. Dear Professor Birch, I am honored to write you today to acknowledge your 25-year service achievement. It comes with great pleasure to award you with the included 25-year service award medal. The university also wishes you all the best with your retirement next semester and thanks you for your time spent teaching and researching exciting new technologies here at the Science Center. I think I can speak for all the faculty and students when I say you'll be missed dearly. And to thank you for your contributions to the university. My best wishes for the future. Sincerely, Scribble. Stanley J. Simmons, University Director. The cats! There seem to be hundreds of these guys. They seem quite relentless, but don't do much damage to my fort. I think I'll be able to read in peace with relative ease. Thank you, kitty! Okay, this is a chapter? Previous? For my dear Martha. Alright. You can see some more cats getting ready to pounce. Pouncy pounce cats. <laughs> okay. 
I think I get time upgrades. I'm not sure if it's cumulative or not. Like, if I don't use it, then I get more of it? I don't know. Defend! Kitty cat time. Doink! 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 <laughs> they are adorbs. I can see some more cats getting ready to pounce. I guess more pillows, please. <laughs> I hope this... Oh, I can get another one? Alright. Can I just stick this here? Oh, okay. Well, that can be used to deflect them. Hey, that's a spitter. How you doing, Mr. Spitter? Defend. <laughs> cool! Oh, I got stamps. What's this? To timber post. Timber post. Uh, Langdon Hospital. Dear Mr. Birch, as per your visit to yesterday, I have contacted a specialist to further look into the symptoms of observed by myself and Dr. Basto upon our initial examination. As per your reported family history, we need to take episodes like this with extreme caution and things can go from bad to worse within a short amount of time. Uh, sound good? I have made an appointment for you with my close friend, Dr. Brett Lipson, over at the New Langdon University Science Department. He is the very best in his field and has t treated patients with similar symptoms as yourself. If you have any further questions or want to raise anything else uh, concerning your health, please feel free to contact myself or Dr. Basto via the extension 442. Best wishes. Uh, sincerely, Scribble, Dr. Lee's Petterball. I've always hated visiting doctors. I know they're there to help, but I always feel like I can diagnose my own symptoms and treat accordingly. Today was different. I have no idea what hit me or when. There was just a weird tingling sensation, and then I blacked out. All I can remember is waking up in a hospital bed with Martha sitting in the chair next to me looking very worried. The following few days were pretty terrible. I think I managed to squeeze in more doctor's appointments than I've had in the past 20 years into a single week. I'm all booked to see a specialist to see if they can figure out what's wrong with me. I figure it's just going to be the same as my dad. It runs in the family. I should be worrying about my health, but all I can think about is what would happen if I was to leave Martha suddenly without getting to say goodbye. It pains me to say this, but she just wouldn't cope by herself. Unfortunately, her age has caught up with her, and she needs a lot of help doing even simple tasks around the house. On the day I came home from the hospital, I found this flower on my pillbox. I found this flower on my pillow. It's the same type of flower that we had at our wedding. It only struck home just how much she cares. I'm sad. I'm gonna need more stuff. But I'll never be able to lift anything up these stairs. Heavy load. Who's that? Move it by. Battery <laughs> charge. Okay. Explore plan. Click on doors to move to different rooms. Hold left mouse to pan up or down. Okay, click on more doors to move to different rooms. Hold left mouse to pan up or down. Or move the cursor to the edge of the screen. Click objects to inspect them. Okay. Time to find some more things for my fort. Maybe some uh, one of the rooms below will have something I can use. Uh, well, let's pick up book. 
Oh, wait, I need... I know I, I did not do a thing. I see some more cats getting ready to pounce. No, let's... It helps me carry heavy items upstairs to the attic and need at least 100% battery charge to power it. Yes, good. Use it! Okay, explore! <laughs> I didn't do the thing. Yes, let's go find stuff. Let's go. Yay! Alright, now what do I do? Uh, uh. Oh. Okay. Should be enough for now. Let's see how it goes. I can see some more cats getting ready to pouncey pounce. Uh oh. There's a new cat. It has a watermelon on its head. What's up with that? <laughs> I have a feeling. Ah, come back here. I have a feeling the brooms will be really, really useful because they can stop. They can take on the the first impact. There you go. Damn it. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Defense. Oh, shit. <laughs> New cat type, indeed. Now I know why all Grandma's watermelons are missing from her garden. This guy is well, was pouncing low and fast. Good old melon head. He's a cannonball cat, is what he is. Uh-oh. I swear I heard the doorbell. Yeah, I heard it too. Oh, a package. Who could that be from? I think the moving bot could easily handle something that small without much battery charge. Besides, it will save me walking down those hundreds of steps and back again. I can see some more cats getting ready to pounce. The package has my name written on the front. I wonder what's inside. Oh, let's open it. Uh -huh. What do I do with this? Sprays pouncing cats with water. Let cats do one less damage, last three squirts. To use, aim the target at pouncing cats during defending stage. Well, how do I just... So, yeah, I know. So I just. So I'm just poking with it? E, 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 e. What do I do with you? I don't know what to do with that. How do I use just something? I don't know. Yeah, 
that's it. So, uh, aim the target at passing cat string. Defending stage. Okay. Oh. During the time I spent in bed recovering, I began to think of a way I could help Martha. If the worst was to suddenly happen, I disappeared from her life. As soon as I got home, I started to monitor her daily routine. I wrote down the room she used the most during the day, where she spent most of her time, and the tasks that gave her the most difficulty. From the data I collected, I created a map of the house and decided to focus my efforts on the rooms and tasks that, in my opinion, needed to be addressed. Then it hit me. Why didn't I just build a machine that helped with everything? I had the years of experience and knowledge. All I needed were the materials, tools, and a load of testing. And there's the locket. I gave this locket to Martha a few years ago. She lost the key and gave it back to me to open, which I still have to figure out. And there's the plans. More cats. And this time there's two cannonball cats. Holy crap. Okay, I think we should explore. See if we can find something. I find these stamps everywhere. I guess the cat's got to Grandpa's stamp collection. Hopefully I can get them all back from him. What's that button over there do? There's a button over there. Can't within the lamp light. Is there damage reduced by 5.5? Okay. What does this do? Gain 5% battery charge when destroyed. That could be helpful. What else can we click on? What's about this? Give, give me the. I can't have the TV. Dang it. All these things cost money. So there's a picture of a cat. Fine. Let's go see over here. Smells like a million cats. I can't see in here. Dagnab. Just dagnab. Okay, well, obviously... The best thing for the cannonball cats would just be to do this. So they hit those, and everything is coolio. by kitties. No! Purry kitties. Some more cats getting ready to pounce. Okay, so we need to make sure that these stay right there. Alright. Okay, so it is cumulative. I think the best investment really is pillows. It kind of was like that for uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh shit. Kinda was like that for uh yeah, see time cost ten hit points too. So if I wanted to I could set up five pillows. Let's do that. But there's a limit, isn't there? Yep, sure is. So we'll do. Let's do that. And. Kitties everywhere! So adorbs! Had some stuff in a beaker. I managed to find to win a few awards during my days as a scientist. A lot of my inventions were created to help with menial day-to-day -day challenges. What I need to do is use my skills to help Martha in her daily challenges. There's a picture looking at some stuff in a beaker. Another picture of my old lab at the university. Uh, we really got caught doing this. That's for the article camouflaged. The mayor of New Langdon announced yesterday that during his press conference that authorities are yet to determine what caused the prize-winning cow Tessa to go missing from her field last night. To be honest, I'm as stumped as them, said owner Farmer Burke. Tessa was a nice cow. She always mind her own business. <laughs> Never shat where she shan't. Police are seeking the two men white customers seen in the area. Uh, my home by when we nicked the cow. A movie ticket. An automatic ironing machine was a big hit around the town and earned me a few dollars after I sold copies of the plans. Alright, all the creases no more. Ron Burge has been hidden away in his home laboratory on most weekends. The local scientist has been hard at work putting together his latest invention, an automated ironing machine. I've always hated having to iron my pants in the morning, he says. He said, now I don't have to worry about it. I just throw all my laundry that needs ironing into the machine, and it's ready and free of creases when I get dressed. Besides inventing, Mr. Birch enjoys working at the University of New Langdon. As head of the science program, he helps hundreds of budding scientists solve challenges and mysteries every day. My initial thoughts were to build automatic system, automated systems that connected to each room through the floorboards and walls. That, however, would involve ripping up and re renovating the house, something that my current health probably couldn't handle at the moment. Right. I see more cats getting ready to pounce. Yep, I do too. All right. Um, I'm going to stop here because I've been doing this for about 30 minutes so far and I would hate to record a ton of it and then have YouTube throw a shit fit over the music so this is kind of like a test run um, if you see more of this soon then that's because YouTube didn't throw a shit fit over the music um, if you don't then I'm just going to mute the music next time play some YouTube music and play it again from the start because apparently uh, it is a cumulative thing so uh, choosing what you use each time can have a huge effect on your ability to survive later on in uh, well future cat runs but anyway this has been Joystick Jerk and uh, I will hopefully see you on the next episode <laughs>